Uh huh, honey. Hey, so today was a great Tuesday. I had a couple work periods. My kids worked on their essays in first period for French class, and we had a presentation from the local French community. After that in history, they continued to answer questions in the very historic history books. Uh, that we have. I say historic because they're so old. But I love it because it's a great resource. It has um, exactly what I need for the f industrial revolution. They did some reading and some answering of questions and life was great. Had a lovely dinner tonight. Had some sausages and salad. Very delicious. I started planning a lot for my careers class that I'll be teaching in just a couple weeks. Happy October. It's a new month. I can't believe how fast internship's going, but uh, we're well into fall or winter now. I'm excited to continue experimenting with different types of lessons. This week I'm doing more of the independent work and uh, it's going great so far. Happy Wednesday, friends. We had a staff meeting this morning. Ran out of the house without putting the rest of my makeup on. That never happens. I thought of it when I was halfway to school, regretted my life, but it was fine. French, they continued while they started writing their essays. They were supposed to be done the research today. They're writing about a French um, community in Canada. Then in history class, I gave a PowerPoint presentation on the Industrial Revolution, different causes like technology and agriculture and demographics. This afternoon we had professional development meeting to talk about how we will be grading students in Catholic studies. Last night Janessa's mom and I had a very fun time at kickboxing class but now I am an old lady and I can barely move. Somehow it's already Thursday. Uh, today was good. The kids continued to write their explicative texts. I don't know English. It's fine. But I think I'm going to be um taking in their drafts so I can do some corrections because even though we have to follow the curriculum, make sure they're meeting all those outcomes, it's also important to make sure they have their bases covered. I was having this conversation with my lovely co-op. In history, continued a PowerPoint presentation about the revolution industrial. Wow, I'm French. Happy Friday! So today was a great way to conclude the week. French class, they had another and last work period to work on their rough copies. In history, they filled out some comparisons between different um, things before the revolution and after the Industrial Revolution. They looked at pictures and made these comparisons. Then I met with my faculty advisor. Uh, she's super supportive. I'm happy to be working with her. And in the fifth period, we enjoyed some cake because it's one of the students' birthdays tomorrow. After school, I had a good chat with um, one of the new teachers at the school. She's really great for giving me advice and her and I really enjoyed uh, chatting about how much we love to travel. And then after I went and I changed my license over to Saskatchewan and I am so happy. It's crazy how your identity, it just something as simple as that makes me so happy. And it's funny, my high school boyfriend's cousin actually worked there and the two ladies who helped me were so super sweet and they were happy I came prepared because you need a lot of proof of residence and your passport, but I was ready because having that Saskatchewan license, those prairie lilies, it just means a lot because that's who I am. I'm a Saskatchewan girl. And while I was on the bus, I saw a beaver tail truck at the mall. So I know what I'll be going to tomorrow. So, uh, where are we going, Janessa? Regina! But where are we going first, Janessa? The gas station. Yes. Update. It's fall in Saskatchewan again, which is good because today is Rider Game Day! Woohoo! Janessa will be working hard on Chicago. Get your tickets, except this will be uploaded. You'll get after. <laughs> Look at Janessa go! You missed a spot. In Moose Jaw, there is a beaver tail beaver truck. Tail. I never thought I'd have one after Ottawa. This is so exciting. I am in, in Moose Jaw at the Town and Country Mall having a beaver tail. Never thought I would see the day. And now Janessa has one too. I am in my happy place. I'm in my favorite city, and I am eating a beaver tail. Poor Janessa is not having quite as good of time. So many detours! It's actually kind of ridiculous. See, you don't want to go down Main Street because there's all the lights, but every other side street has construction. Someone's getting married! Where are we, Janessa? Is this your favorite place? No! No, no. 
So today I am being a tourist in Regina. I took a nice little stroll downtown, walked around Wascana, and now I'm gonna to go tour the ledge building. Very typical tourist, but I am from Saskatchewan. I got my little pin on today. I met you at a house party in Montreal. We were staring at the flower wallpaper, talking like it's only us. I was coming down, looking for an act. I just took a tour at the Saskatchewan Legislative Building and I found it very interesting because you know I love all things parliamentary process after my summer job of course. Now I saw the original Privy Council table. They cut it. It wouldn't fit in the Regina post office where they used to meet here. I can't believe this. I told my friends back in Ottawa, we're all just dealing with the news, but I can't believe they cut an original table, an artifact. You're professional. Albuquerque to chat time. I got the crowd yelling. Bring them out, bring them out. 